Well, I gave in. I bought a Harbor Freight trailer. It's uh, the one ton model, 1,700 pound capacity. Well, took a while to put it together and get it the way I wanted it. I added a tongue jack. And another thing I did, I want to show, is I ran a separate ground wire to all the uh, lights. Can't depend on the frame to ground your lights on these things because everything's painted. And... But here's a it's four by eight. It has one ton axle, twelve inch wheels. I put bearing buddies on it. I also mounted the tail lights on the bracket backwards. I wanted to bring them back a little bit from the rear end. Doesn't affect anything. I built a box on it. It's two feet deep, 24 inches deep. And I use these to hold it closed. If I decide to put a, a top on it, then I can just use padlocks to keep keep it secure. Uh, I've already put a good 100 miles on this thing. I like it. I was surprised at how the quality of the hardware, being Harbor Freight, you know. <coughs> there was no missing hardware, no missing nuts and bolts. There's literally a hundred bolts on this thing, plus nuts and blah, blah, blah. Everything were nylock nuts, so you don't have to deal with lock washers or anything like that. I bought the spare tire for it. I mounted the bracket to the front wall with three-eighths bolts instead of on the tongue. I put big fender washers here so it wouldn't punch through the wood. All this plywood is pressure treated. Pressure treated underlayment. Uh, it's a few bucks more, but there are no voids in it. It's a better plywood. In a few weeks, I'll probably paint it. Let the wood dry out in the sun, so to speak. I put these tie downs on. I'm gonna be adding some more of those. Right now, I've only got four. Fenders without the box and having this piece of 2x4 up against them, they're really wiggly. I don't ever plan on folding this trailer, so I did not mount the uh, little dolly wheels that would go in that bracket there. I didn't bother. Um, she pulls great um, and straight. And once I got all the plywood on it to make the box, um, she pulls very quiet. It's got a few extra hundred pounds on it from the lumber and whatnot. Um, I really thought that was, was really nice. Um, would I do it again? I gotta say no. Uh, reason being is, I bought this in August of 2016. I got it for $350 out the door with a coupon I found online. It was normally $399.99, it called $400. Um, by the time I got done buying the plywood and um, the jack I would have bought anyways for the tongue, whether I bought this trailer or not. Uh, having a tongue jack is just stupid to go without. But, you know, hardware, extras I put on it, whatever. Um, that cost me another good $250 easy. Uh, if I sat down and really added it up, I might, I might be upset. Um, 
350 600 for $600 I could have bought a ready-made cheapo at Lowe's or or uh, tried to supply but those have their problems too. They're welded together, but they're welded by real amateurs. Uh, just check out their reviews. If you see a parking lot full of them, you might have to look at four or five of the same model before you pick the one you want when you look at the welds. But if you have a welder at home, you can always fix that properly. Um, it's a lot more work than you would think putting one of these guys together. If you're a tool guy, you like to tinker, that's great. I am, I am one myself. And uh, it was a fun project. And like I said, I was really impressed with the uh, quality of the uh, nuts and bolts and fasteners and everything that comes with it, I have to say. Uh, correction, um, the tail light kit that comes with it, one of the tail lights was crushed in the box. Uh, it just happens in shipping, I guess. And uh, but I went right back to the store and they gave me a, another set of tail lights. Uh, actually, upgraded because these are the waterproof ones that you'd put on a boat. Um, yeah, one of the biggest things with these trailers is instead of trying to ground it through the frame, just go get a 30-foot spool of white. Uh, wire at your local uh, auto parts store or whatever you know 18 gauge is plenty and uh, just run it to all your all your lamps on the uh, trailer and the lights are wicked bright they actually seem to be brighter than what's on my car and uh, this is what I tow it with the 2013 Scion XB little four cylinder but uh, I don't plan on putting, you know, 1,500 pounds in that trailer. At least uh, I don't see it happening. But I used to be a pickup truck guy that I just couldn't justify um, owning a pickup anymore. They're just too thirsty on gas and everything else. And for the few times I would use the pickup as a pickup, it just I just couldn't justify it. So I bought this brand new. Uh, got a hell of a price on it. It's been a great car. Uh, it sits high like a van. It's got crazy pep on the highway. It's amazing for that little four-cylinder. And I just turned the clock on at 40,000 miles, and I love it. I'm going to drive this for a long time. Even though Toyota or Scion discontinued the model, I'm going to hang on to it for a long time. I just enjoy the car. It's super headroom, plenty of room. You sit good in it, you know. Good little highway car for taking a trip. I average 32 miles a gallon on the highway with it, as long as I behave, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I keep it around 70 miles an hour on the highway where legal. And I use the cruise control, and she's good on gas. But anyways, back to the trailer. Trailer hooks right up to it. I put a hitch on my car. Bought it on Amazon for, I think, 110 bucks. It's a Kurt hitch. Bolted right in. Uh, still got it hanging out the back of the car here. And there it is. I'll be taking that off because I, I don't need it anymore today. Like I said, I brought the trailer to the dump. Get rid of a big load of yard junk and whatnot. And I'm really liking it. But, again, if I had to do it over again, I would probably choose one already made. There again, I'd have to lay down under it and take a good look at the quality of the welds and stuff. Um, but these uh, Harbor Freight trailers are, at least the one I bought, uh, I'm happy with it. I'm, 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 I, like I said, I was surprised at the quality of the uh, fasteners. The bearings, like the other guys say, pull the bearings, get out that junk. Chinese grease, repack your bearings properly. I put the bearing buddies on there, so life is good. That's all. Thank you.